Hello, and uh, continuing with uh, the series of uh, uh, doing a data-driven testing uh, using Coded UI. In this uh, video, I'll be showing you as how to connect to the SQL Server, um, or for that matter, any other database, uh, as long as uh, you have uh, uh, a way of connecting to it. Um, and then, um, you know, fetching the data and passing the data to our script. Okay, so um, in this uh, case, uh, I will be connecting to SQL Server. So first of all, uh, let me start off with the SQL Server. So um, I will go ahead and uh, I will create um, uh, a database. So what I'm gonna do is uh, on my local machine, I have, uh, uh, on my local machine, I have um, a SQL Server uh, installed. So if you, um, have SQL Server installed on your own machine, uh, then you could do it. Um, or else, um, um, yeah, as a part of our um, course, I will be giving you uh, the details to get connected to our server that we are hosting it um, um, in uh, on one of our servers in California and in uh, London. So, um, if um, just to. Okay, just to give you uh, some details about that server, um, whenever you're connecting to any server, you need to know uh, where the server is hosted, uh, then you need the username and the password if you're connecting to an external server. Um, so uh, again, if you have done some courses with me in the past, uh, then you know that we have been using our servers in London and in California. So uh, I'll be giving you uh, the user ID, password, and all the connection string details of those servers uh, to connect to. But um, for the purpose of this uh, um, simple exercise as a part of this uh, video, I will be showing it to you uh, on your own local machine so that you guys um, can try it on your machine if you don't uh, really uh, have access to uh, the server. So. Um, let's uh, make believe that you have SQL Server installed on your own machine. So I'm going to be invoking SQL Server, starting C uh, SQL Server on my machine. I have uh, uh, SQL Server 2014 installed. It's the uh, SQL Express, uh, which is the free version of it. Um, so you could uh, Google and download for it from Microsoft and install it. Um, if you are our student, we have covered uh, the whole uh, you know series of uh, how to do the installation and how to uh, mount a database, how to create a database, and all that. Um, so I'm not going to get into the details of um, you know the installation and all that. Um, so uh, I'll uh, show you as how to create a database and a table. So I am connecting right now to the SQL Express instance of that. Um, so here I go, I get connected and uh, right uh, here, I could um, go ahead and then create a new database. So under my um, system databases, um, uh, this is brand new, there's nothing in here. So I'm gonna be creating a database uh, uh, and this database that I'm going to be creating is uh, um, um, a simple uh, database uh, that we'll be using it for our uh, testing classes. So I got to give it the name of the database. Uh, so I'm going to call it uh, training right. Uh, um, and uh, uh, here are some details about what is going to be the size of the database and all that. So the initial size, I'll, I'll leave it as, uh, uh, or I'll, um, you know, make it as a 30 uh, megabyte and then I'll let it grow one megabyte and uh, this will uh, grow uh, exponentially uh, with uh, one megabyte uh, every time if it needs to grow and um, so we're going to be adding that uh, database and as you can see the training right database has been added now inside a database we got to be going and then creating some tables so right now i don't have any tables so right click on that and then i'll be creating a table uh, the table uh, will have uh, some of the columns uh, that I need. So I'm going to start off with, let's say, ID as a column and uh, the data type of that ID, I'm going to keep it as a, uh, a long integer. Um, so oh, you have the option of uh, going with, uh, uh, let's say, an int. Um, so I could take that, allow nulls, no. And I want to keep it as the identity column. So I'm just going to go and then click on that. So that will make it as a primary and then uh, primary key. And as far as the identity column, I'm going to go in here uh, and uh, make sure that uh, this is an identity column. Identity column means that it is going to get incremented. Uh, so I will uh, change it to 
uh, yes and then we will plant a seed in here and the seed is going to be it's going to start off with a number of one and every time we have a new record it's going to get incremented by one okay so that's that so i'm going to be uh saving uh no before i save let me uh, add some more columns in here so the other column that i need to add is based on my um based on my uh, fields um, so one of the fields is going to be my browser type then customer home phone number and the password so this is the browser type and the browser type i'll make it as a um ncar 10 is fine um and the next one is uh, going to be my customer home phone number this i'll keep it as uh, again um as a, a string uh we could go with uh varcar here um and uh, it need not be uh 50 where a phone number is usually 10 and then uh this is going to be my password the password uh, uh can have uh, uh any um length uh, but uh, we're not gonna go too crazy with it uh, so i'll keep it as a uh varkar and uh the size of that i'm gonna keep it as uh, uh let's say the password is going to be 25. um i don't want them none of them should be uh allowing null um so these are basically the three columns and um so i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna call it as uh, um let's say uh, test um data right um or this is what uh customer login uh hang on for a second let me uh cust login test data is what i want to use so cust login test data is the name of the table okay so the table has been uh created um if i refresh uh and uh if i see in here that's my table i'm going to be entering some rows in here so edit uh, the top 200 um, so there's nothing right now so here i'm going to be saying like ie and customer phone number is 732-998-6650 and the password is going to be password um now let me go with the second one it is going to be chrome and uh let me just take some data from here um, I know as a matter of fact, we have some data uh, that I could uh, use. So let me see what data I would like to use. Okay, so uh, here we have that uh, Smith123 is um, the password. So that's that and I will use Smith123 as the password. And uh, I'll go with the third one. The third one, I will use it as a Firefox. Uh, this is uh, the bare minimum I am doing. Uh, we could go with uh, lots of data if you want to. So I'm going to be using that. And password is lowercase password. So uh, we come in here. We do that. Lowercase password. Um, all right. So we are all... Um, all set in here so that's my uh, database okay very good so I got to come back in here into my script and uh, make sure uh, that I have a data source uh, so in the previous examples um, I have um, you know uh, shared with you the CSV way of uh, connecting to the database and then the Excel and the XML right now I'm just gonna go with um, uh, the database so to do that, um, I have to bring in the data source for that. Again, uh, if you recall, I have shared this document with you um, so that uh, we don't really have to type all that. I have done that work for you. So we will come in here and then we will paste and then make the minor modifications to it. So the changes that we're gonna be uh, bringing in here is, uh, the data source, uh, it's a SQL Express instance of it, so we are fine there. And if you see, this uh, was the SQL Express instance uh, on my server, and that's what I'm saying that. I am, this This uh, corresponds to the local host, meaning my own machine, and on that we have a SQL Express instance. Uh, initial catalog is the name of the database. So the name of the database uh, that we have uh, chosen is training right. So I'm gonna come back in here and then make that change. So this is going to be training right so here is that um, change and then after that uh, we said 
um, integrated security is true that means I don't really have to pass uh, uh, the username password meaning that it's going to be using the username passwords of uh, uh, the one that I logged into in, into the machine this is the name of the table so the name of the table that I have used is uh, cust login test data so um, if I could take that copy paste and come over here and paste that cust login test data and uh, do I want to uh, go sequential do I want to go random again up to you and uh, that's about it so if you see now based on this data source uh, it is going to go and get connected to the SQL server and then sequentially it's gonna go and then bring me uh, the browser type from that field uh, which is uh, this field as the browser type it's gonna bring in IE the first time with that phone number and that password password and execute uh, this uh, the script that we have so once it executes the script and basically it will continue till we have uh, everything in there so let me just uh, save it and uh, right click and then run the test and uh, see if uh, uh, we are able to execute this um, from the database um, uh, when uh, we will be in our actual course uh, I'll be showing you as how uh, you uh, can be connecting to an external uh, server uh, because uh, in real life uh, chances are you don't have the data sitting on your own uh, uh, laptop or on your own machine so you would be connecting to uh, some server so you need to know uh, the uh, connection string again if you have taken a selenium course with me if you have taken QTP if you have taken um, soap UI if you've taken any other course with me in the past uh, JMeter uh, load runner we have uh, shown you as how to connect to an external repository whether it may be uh, Oracle or SQL server we have done that so this is uh, what it is doing right now it's uh, going and connecting and uh, as you can see uh, right now uh, we have all of these uh, uh, you know different ways of uh, connecting so let's see um, if all the tests have been executed I think uh, so far we have done uh, two iterations this is a third iteration and every time it is uh, opening up a different browser and then doing that so this uh, happens to be the Firefox and uh, it is connecting to Firefox and then uh, um, you know or taking fetching the data from the database and uh, uh, doing all that oh well um, so that's um, about it as a part of uh, uh, this uh, video we have um, covered uh, the databases uh, so um, I'm gonna be coming back uh, in another video and then be uh, be showing you how to get connected to coded you um, from coded UI to team foundation server and execute a, a manual test case that was created um, using MTM um, and that test case if uh, parameterized with the set of data we will be using that uh, from TFS and then executing our tests uh, well uh, thank you for watching and uh, we will hope to see you back in another video soon